Let him who is without sin be the one to cast the first stone. John chapter 8, man up Monday. And not just any sin, but let him who is without sexual sin be the one to cast the first stone of condemnation. There's a woman who's caught in adultery, John chapter 8. Right? The, the leaders bring her into church, say, hey, we're supposed to stone her. Jesus, what do you want us to do? And Jesus says, let him who's without sin be the one to cast the first stone at her. In that situation, and when you and I read that text, we do realize there is one person there without sin, and that is Jesus. And we can't help but wonder, is he going to throw the stone of condemnation at her? And guess what? He does not. He says, where are these men, right? They, all these men have repented. They've all acknowledged, I got sexual sin in my life. I haven't fought against those temptations. I haven't exhibited a spirit-led self-control with sexual temptation. And so they all drop their rocks, but yet Jesus is there and Jesus does not condemn her. In fact, he says, your sins are forgiven. And then he says, go and sin no more, right? He loves that woman by giving her the greatest gift of all, the forgiveness of sins in that moment, grace and mercy, even though she didn't deserve it. He gave her forgiveness. Men, I don't know what's going on in your life when it comes to your sexuality, when it comes to sexual temptations, but I know this, that God has said self-control. It's a fruit of, of the Spirit. Uh, men, calm your mind, calm your heart, give it to Jesus, be obedient to Him, live by faith in what He says to do with those sexual temptations. you got to fight them, you got to flee, and praise God uh, for the gift of grace and mercy and forgiveness. It's time to man up today.